the term palapa is an old Javanese term for coconut, it also might be used to refer to pala, nutmeg, to describe spices or flavorings in food. Palapa can also be interpreted as the combination palaapa, which means any fruit or spices. The oath means that Gajah Mata would not eat palapa until he succeeded in uniting the Nusantara archipelago under Majapahit suzerainty. Historians have interpreted that Gajah Mata might have performed what is now known in Javanese tradition as Puasa Muta, only consuming plain food of white steamed rice, plain vegetables in clear water, without any coconut or spices for flavoring. Some might also interpret this to mean Gajah Mata was somehow performing a somewhat ascetic ritual by refusing to indulge himself in sensual pleasures, which includes consuming spiced flavorsome food. This oath was probably meant to describe his seriousness and strong will in achieving his goal of furthering the glory of Majapahit. From this manuscript, historians have learned several names of places and polities in Nusantara at the time the oath was taken, which were not under Majapahit suzerainty, and were targeted by Gajah Mata's ambitious expansive campaign. The main source of the Palapa oath is taken from the Middle Javanese manuscript, Pararatan, which states, Sira Gajah Mada Pati Amangku Bumi Tan Ayun Amuktia Palapa, Sira Gajah Mada, Lamun Huus Kalah Nusantara Isun Amukti Palapa, Lamun Kalah Ring Gurun, Ring Seran, Tanjung Pura, Ring Haru, Ring Pahang, Dompo, Ring Bali, Sunda, Palembang, Tumasik, Samana Isun Amukti Palapa. Translation, He, Gajah Mada Pati Amangku Bumi does not wish to cease his fasting. Gajah Mata, if I succeed in defeating, conquering, Nusantara, then, I will break my fast. If Gurun, Saram, Tanjung Pura, Haru, Pahang, Dampo, Bali, Sunda, Palembang, Temasek, are all defeated, then, I will break my fast.